This one is a collaboration of three singers who are wow. not just legends of the country singing world, but just the singing world in general. Let's give them a listen. If you're interested to hear what I sound like when I sing, I have just released a cover of Wicked Game. It is out on Spotify, also here on YouTube, and I would love to know what you think. <laughs> That's Linda Ross, if you don't know. It did not what he had done. She has such a versatile voice. So although she sings country, sometimes she's not. She's singing all different varieties. Rock, country, folk, jazz, mariachi. She's singing it. And um, she just has such warmth in her tongue. Her, that versatile and warm tone for sure. Now this song wasn't written by any of the three of these, it was actually written by a gospel composer called James B. Coates and it was recorded for these three and for an album for these three and um, it was a massive success but it's a song of a woman visiting her son in prison and bringing him a rose as like a present and a symbol of her love and it's about a true story that Coates had heard. She did not bring to him a thrall of pardon. She brought no sin, no promise none to see. It was a hail of right sent down from heaven, like the sweetest gift a mother smiled. I love how you're getting a little bit of slight polyrhythms in there and then, um, but actually the unison. So you've just got uh, um, Linda heading off a little bit in her own rhythms, but Dolly and Emmy Lou are on that beautiful harmony. So it sounds quite complex, but it's actually kind of a harmony with um, a lead sitting on top. And because we've got them sitting at the same sort of volume at that point, it feels like it's all a big harmony piece, like a kind of Crosby, Stills and Nash where you're never really sure what the lead line is. Now Dolly's voice is different in that, well, it still has that warmth, but instead of being completely versatile, it's very specific and it's because of her accent within it and she maintains the strength of her accent that she has when she speaks in her singing and that gives it that real country vibe, which makes her sit within a niche. I'd say that she is really the queen of country, isn't she? Walls around you could never change I think what's so nice about Emily's voice is that it has that lightness. She actually kind of reminds me of Joni Mitchell as well, like, but a bit more country in that she has that lightness at this point in her career, certainly, and it can blend with anyone, yet kind of stand out in this beautiful, angelic way at the same time. The blend between the three of them is excellent. And the pitching. 
that was really really beautiful and the harmonies and the blending and the timing and everything was so so dead on the only thing i actually wish is that we got a little bit more solo from emmy lou because i really enjoyed both the the linda and the dolly solo singing and i wanted a bit of her as well because i think she's wonderful thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one